Okay guys, so here's the chocker that I'm gonna use for my dingle dangle. As you can see, it's quite a small tube because it was uh, sustainably harvested by myself in uh, Simonstown using chocker jigs. So it's quite a bit uh, smaller and thinner tubes than what you get that are trolled or bought in the shops from PE. So for the dingle dangle, you're gonna need three essential tools to make a proper bait. That's gonna be a chocker mullet, and that's to beat your chocker or any other bait you wanna put on, a sharp knife, and then quite a bit of cotton. First things first, you need to find the backbone of the chocker, which you can see there, the darker area on the chocker. And you just slice down to open it. And you can just open the chocker and scrape all the guts and everything off. This you can use to make a messier bait later on, but it's not necessary now for the dangle. What I always also do is I just cut this little bit of excess off that as you want the whitest bait possible now according to your dingle dangle you cut pieces that you're going to put on so i'm just going to cut two slices down the chocker okay there we go then i'm just going to cut it in half okay now i've got four pieces that i'm going to use the Chocker mullet, the smaller side, to just beat it. Normally when you're next to the beach, you don't mind just beating the hell out of it. But yeah, we're working here inside a house, so we have to be a little bit more clean. Now I'm just going to take one of the pieces and I'm going to put it on my dangle, just like that. And I'm going to start cottoning it. Cotton it quite a bit at the top, quite hard, like that. And then soft it towards the middle because you need a soft blob bait for the cob. Next piece, same story. Cotton hard at the bottom and at the top and soft it towards the middle. Okay, another piece. Hard at the bottom. Softer towards the middle. And then lastly, hard at the top. I'm making a small bait, so this should be sufficient enough. So I'm not gonna use that last part. And I'm just gonna finish it up by wrapping it once or twice so that it doesn't slide off when you're casting and then you just finish it up with a knot or two and there we go there's your neat little blob bait which you clip into your sinker and now you're ready to cast a mile Hi there guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you've learned anything or if there's any further questions. And please go check out our awesome merch for sale on catchcook.com.